Michael Portillo? A little bit. What's wrong with Michael Portillo? There's nothing wrong with him. He's really good, but it's not really us. All right, okay. So, all right, how about how about this, which is a bit more of our style of video? Okay, yeah, right. that's better. Okay, let's go with that. Okay. Supplies are better. Huh? Got enough supplies. Yeah. Sure? Yummy. So, um, today is Saturday the 5th of January and we are going in search of the Didcot Newbury and Southampton Railway. Our plan... This hold, on, hold on, Why is it called Southampton if it never made it to Southampton? Very good question, Rebecca. It's almost like we set that up. No. You can find out the answer to that exact question by watching one of our previous videos just here. <laughs> However, this weekend we decided to do one of our Every Disuse Station videos and it was from the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway. The line travelled from Didcot down to Newbury and ultimately down to Winchester. We have visited a few stations along this line before. However, we also appreciate we've got 400 new subscribers since we visited the line. So today is the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway Every Disuse Station. Morning everybody, welcome to um, the Newbury and Southampton, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Didcot, Didcot Newbury and Southampton Railway. Um, so we've been to Upton, done a very uh, brief here at the station, uh, at just someone's house, so not very exciting. Right, so we are now on the Upton cutting curve. That way there is north, so a few miles in that direction is Upton Station, or what was Upton Station. Um, the line then went into a small cutting and then went into this, which is no longer a cutting because obviously it's been filled in, um, but was a significant cutting on the line. What did we just read? 410,000 tonnes of spoil. spoil. Yeah, it was dug out. <laughs> spoil. Which basically means that's all been put back in. <laughs> yeah, it has, so it's completely filled back in again now. So I'm guessing obviously it's farmer's land that they wanted to utilise land rather than having a massive cutting on the land, which is a bit of a shame really, but it's obviously hidden whatever architecture was left of this bridge. Um, so that is from the north uh, coming this way to the south and this side of the bridge again um, completely filled in. We are going to spend the day heading south now. Um, next stop's Churn um, which was built as a single platform sort of seven years on wasn't it seven years on from the start of the railway so this section of the railway that we're on now was built in eight or opened in 1882 um parliamentary approval in 1879 yes yep um no 1880 1880 but they cut the first sod in 79 oh i see so they're a bit naughty so they, they started building it before they got parliamentary approval yes. So this is Churn. We think this is one of the UK's most remote disused stations. Right, so Churn Holt 
um, built in 1888, I want to say, um, as a halt, which um, I think, I want to say Lord Wantage, wanted the competition of the National Rifle Association to take place here, um, which presumably was on his land. I might have got that wrong, but I think it was on his land. So he wanted um, the National Rifle Association to have their competition here. So he had the halt built here by GWR 1888. Um, you still seem to have your coffee. That's very I kind. I really of am carrying your drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. It's coffee though, not tea. <laughs> so we had a guy, we had a guy comment to me the other day, and he said, "How much do you pay your wife to carry your tea?" <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden I am actually. And it, here it is. <laughs> it's true. It, it's the thing, isn't it? So, Compton, tick. Compton, that, that's great, isn't it? Because you can walk that's right lovely. past the house. You almost go across their garden, basically, don't you? Yeah. Um, so we'll overlay a few of that shot, a few of those shots here. So Compton was apparently a very important stop on this line. Mm. Um, I think they were going to build a branch across to East Ilsley for the sheep market, but they didn't. They obviously used here and all the good sidings and that. Mm. Um, which and it was one of the only, well, it was the only, apart from Winchester, station to have a footbridge uh, yeah. over the top. This is um, Pinewood Holt, right? Yes. So Pinewood Holt, built in 1933. No, it's not. It's Pinehurst Holt. Pinehurst. <laughs> Pinehurst Holt, built in 1933. Um, purely because they wanted more passenger receipts. And they said that everybody in the north end of Hermitage uh, had to walk a long way down to Hermitage Station. So they built this in a vain attempt to increase passenger numbers and receipts. Um, but probably an ill-fated um, attempt, I guess, at um, saving a line that was already on a down. yeah on the way down. On the way down is that the right word? I don't know. Yeah, probably is. So I've just arrived at a village called Berkeley on the line, where Highclere Station was. So Highclere is about three miles west of here. Two and a quarter according to the sun behind us. Two and a quarter. Highclere is two and a quarter miles west of here, and yet we're now at Highclere Station, just about to be at Highclere Station, in the village of Berkeley. The Berkeley Station was about three miles south of here, two, three miles south of here, in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And I think they all they said um, that Lots they of people used to call this. Berkeley, yes. even though it's actually Highclere. Even, even a postcard post card. was put out with Highclere Station on it and then put, put Berkeley on it. Right, okay, which makes sense. Okay, um, right, so Highclere Station at Berkeley, there, which is looking south, north of there is that. Now, you can tell there, and the other side actually, is, um, it's not a river is it? It's just no, extremely... It just seems to be filled in over time. Waterlogged, yeah, water, it's yeah. obviously still water because there's loads of algae settled on top of that there, which is a bright green you can see. Um, also, so this is the Tooting Hill, or the, the big cutting to the north of the station, and apparently there used to be a tunnel there. That's before um, the line even opened, they had built a tunnel there. Um, and yeah, it so it collapsed in it before they started the railway, it collapsed. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't walk up there. We're going to walk up the side and see if there's anything actually obvious that we can see. 
Right, so yeah, so 200 yards up the line there was the, is the A34, the big one, but the old A34 that used to go through the middle of Newbury, that's where there was a bridge that was a replacement for the tunnel. Yes. Right. And that bridge was reportedly been bought from Belgium. Right, okay. And it was a weak bridge and GWR tried to limit people that went over the bridge? Yeah, tried to limit the amount of people. lorries that went over the bridge because right. there was an awful lot of lorries, particularly from the breweries, etc. So they were very heavy. So, but unfortunately trying to limit that meant that it transferred all the weight and all the lorries down to the brick bridge, down the further bottom, right by the station. And Which then that the was causing seen. problems there, so they right. had more repair work to do on that one. So and they were trying refurbished to save that, that one. That one. Yes in 1930 something something like that yeah that cost two thousand pound yes right so yeah basically this is great that's a massive cutting we're not going to go in it because it's so steep in terms of the sides and it's just a bog at the bottom we would love to go in and have a bit of a nose around there but there's no pathway right away it's a bit noisy. there's lots of houses around so we're going to be good yes. Right, so this is Worthy Down, and there's kind of an ongoing kind of I think restoration project, which is great because you've got the whole island platform going on down the middle, which we'll have a explore of in a second. Built in 1917, <laughs> open to passengers in 1918, which I presume was after the war in 1918. Um, right, so oh, yeah. south of here is Kingsworthy, which is exactly two miles or just under two miles, and it's a one in 106 gradient, right? Mm -hmm. And they built catch points at Kingsworthy to stop any potential runaways on the hill, um, especially in consideration that there were some sidings here. And there was one such incident, wasn't there? You read in 19... There was... I can't remember what year it was, 1940-something, wasn't 1942. it? 1942. 1942, something like that, where a brake van thought they were finished doing what they needed to do, so they got on their brake van and they let the, brake, the brakes go and they didn't realise one of the coupling, couplings wasn't done and it and a couple of wagons carried on down the hill for two miles for two miles and came off with the catch point but stayed upright stayed upright didn't fall off and then no one was hurt other than their pride a little bit i think they got the mickey <laughs> taken out of them quite a bit because they just assumed the uh, the driver of the train was just going exceedingly fast yes yeah, so they, they said he's in a bit of a hurry today right so that is us um in terms of the waffle today sorry if there's been too much waffle sorry if there's been not enough waffle <laughs> bit of everything maybe whatever mm. yeah this is also the last line that we are on that we have covered before so everything else from here on inwards is new to us mm -hmm. basically yep. um it, these have been easy to find because we know where we're going we've been to a lot of these before we know a lot about the line to a degree but this is the last one we're going where we know we've been so next one who knows where we're going next but it'll be brand new to us which is great be a bit fun yeah um, right like subscribe share comment hit the notification bell and all that jazz and we'll um, we'll see you next time Portello? Like a really small person. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it again? <laughs>
No. You said, isn't this like a little Michael Portillo? I said tell her again as well. Oh, did you? I was thinking, as opposed to a really big Michael Portillo. Just a small one. 